You know, I sometimes get irritated with how much emphasis on prepping is put on those big SHTF events. Um, a lot of prepping should be everyday prepping. And so this is another video for something for everyday prepping that I think you should consider. What kills 21,000 people a year? You can't see it, you can't taste it, and you can't smell it. What is it? Give you a little time here. Well, for those of you that guessed correctly, it is radon gas. This is a gas that just naturally emits from radioactive materials in stones that occur in nature. And as that radioactive material decomposes, breaks down, whatever they call it, then the gas is released. So in the outdoors, it's being released all the time, but it is not a risk. But in closed spaces, it can be. Now, those 21,000 deaths per year are caused by lung cancer. So you could have never, ever smoked in your life and still get lung cancer. And of course, the nasty thing about this radon gas is it's a cumulative. You're doing it a long period of time. And so it's not like you'd come down with it immediately. You might not get that lung cancer until 20 years later. But it is a real invisible risk. So to determine if you have it in your house, you can get a simple radon testing kit. Now I got this actually free from our county right now. They're giving out free kits and I was going in to do my water test, which is another thing if you have a well as part of your emergency preparedness. Every year you should be testing your well. But at the same time, they had one of these kits. So I'm picking it up and I'm gonna go through the process. There is a misconception that the only time you have to worry about radon is if you have a basement in your home, and that's not necessarily true. So homes without basement can also have a problem with radon gas. Now, the EPA guidelines, let me read them a minute for you. It suggests mitigating if levels are at or above 4 PCI backslash L. In a family who has radon levels of that amount, that 4 PCI backslash L, is exposed to approximately 35 times as much radiation as the Nuclear Regulatory Commission would allow if that family was standing next to the fence of a radioactive waste site. So, not good, not good at all. Now, radon is a national problem, um, and I'll show you what it is for Michigan. Here we have an average of 3.5. But the US EPA estimates that as many as 8 million homes through the country have elevated levels of radon. You know, I'm a little nervous about doing this test because what if I find out I do have a radon problem? Then I'm going to have to, well, we'd retest with a professional, but if that still came out, then we'd have to call someone in and install like underground ventilation or something to decrease that level. And that could cost $1,200 or more. But for the safety of my family, I'm going to test. So I'll show you this little pamphlet. Um, the instructions say you can't do it in severe weather. You can't run a whole house or window fans during the testing period. All external doors, windows, and vents should be kept closed from 12 hours before and during the test. But you can go in and out of the room as long as you close the door each time. And you have to select a room in the lowest level of the building that is used on a regular basis. Keep it three feet or more from doorways, hallways, windows, exterior walls, and heating or air conditioning vents. The test should be placed at eye level in the center of the room. Do not test areas of high humidity, such as bathrooms, kitchens, laundry rooms, closets, or damp basements. Wow, <laughs> didn't know it was that complicated. I originally was planning on uh, putting it in my pantry downstairs, because that's generally the only reason I go downstairs. My laundry is on the main level. Um, but that is not a room we use a lot. Uh, 
My husband uses the media room at the end of the hall in the basement all the time, but he smokes cigars. So we have a special window ventilation thing that will take the smoke out. And that's the reason I think smoking cigars by smoking anything is nasty. And that's the reason I don't go downstairs to the media room very often. But because we have that fan going, that would not be a good room to test. So my youngest son's bedroom is also on that level and I think I will place it in there. I think that makes the most sense. And now I'm gonna to have to leave it there for three to four days. You could leave it up to seven. So I'm gonna get it ready and hang it and then kind of end the video because I won't be back to see you until I actually get the results back from, I guess it's called radon.com. So wish me luck. Well, I got my test results back fast. I mailed it into them on Friday and already got the results back this evening. So good results. I have less than 0.3 PC backslash L and anything under 4.0 is good. And it says here that the EPA indicates that there is little short-term risk with test results in the range 0.0 to 1.9, which we're definitely in. So great news, gives me peace of mind, and I really recommend you do a radon test report for your house. This is Prepper Potpourri saying, please subscribe, share the knowledge, and thumbs up if you find this video informative. Thank you.